I'm Josh Caputo. I'm president and CEO of Humotech, uh, a company that I founded in 2015. So I was working on my PhD degree at Carnegie Mellon University, and uh, I had built several different robotic systems uh, in order to do my research. And as I was presenting the work uh, that I was doing at international conferences, uh, we started to gain the attention of other laboratories that wanted to conduct similar kinds of research with, with similar equipment. And so that planted the seed in my head that, well, perhaps I could start a business around this, building wearable robotic systems uh, and delivering them to, to research and development labs around the world. Humotech was founded in 2015. Uh, we're a small team of about half a dozen uh, passionate uh, individuals, all working to transform the way the world develops and uses wearable machines. So we provide the Caplex platform, which allows our customers to hit the ground running with testing their ideas. Uh, so they don't have to build a physical system. Uh, they can unbox the Caplex system, plug it in, and start testing theories about uh, assisting human locomotion on day one. So a patient comes into the lab and they put the Caplex system on and it's programmed to emulate the mechanics of products that are currently on the market that might be prescribed to them. Uh, and it enables them to generate experiential data on what products work best for them. So my name is Carl Curran. Uh, I'm the Director of Engineering here at Human Motion Technologies, and uh, I've been here since about 2015. The idea behind this is that we want these wearable devices to be as capable as possible, and to do that, that generally means it has to weigh as little as possible. Uh, we essentially try to take all of that off of the wearable device and have off board. So there's the control, uh, hardware over there on the desk and then the actuary units uh, is connected via a tether to the wearable device and all the application of load torque the you know keeping up with how fast the device needs to move that's all taken care of by the actuary units the very first human tech system was built in my garage and <laughs> as you can probably imagine there are a, lo a lot of challenges in that sort of environment uh, we quickly learned that we wanted to enlist the help of professional uh, technicians and engineers and designers who've been working in industrial automation for decades. Because to trust uh, an outside party with a major subsystem was a big deal for us. We are capable of building these units in-house, but we're intimately familiar with what can go wrong and our limitations. So we were, we were happy to give this responsibility to someone else, but we wanted to be convinced that they were gonna be good stewards uh, of this essential you know, component. offloading that to someone who actually knows much more about the uh, motors, drives, and all the safety considerations that industry standards sort of require of that uh, allows us to focus more on the R&D development and uh, new products that we uh, can now offer. The first Cole Morgan systems we built were, were really far beyond uh, you know, the systems we had built before that. We were just really pleased with the performance and ease of use. Neff was interested and willing to provide a complete solution. So not only would they supply us with the components that we needed, um, but they saw that we were building these systems at an 80-20. They realized that they could build the frames for us. They could install the components for us. And gradually, I started to learn more and more about Neff's capabilities. With unpredictable supply chains, uh, there can be quite a lot of work behind the scenes uh, that goes into building one of these units. It's a huge relief to not have to worry about all of the details of the actuator unit. Through working with Neff, um, the engineers there had 
so many good ideas about different components that we could be using, different ways of approaching the design. And with each build, the units got better and better. There's infinite possibilities in how the Caplex platform can be used. Our bread and butter has been uh, powered prosthetic ankles and ankle foot orthotic devices since our inception. Um, but we're working really hard to grow uh, and constantly expand the capabilities of the system. There are a lot of companies that manufacture and distribute servo motor components. And I think to stand out, uh, you have to provide a little something extra. Uh, and I think NEF definitely does that.